What's up YouTube, back with another video, and today we're going over 5 plays in the Celtics playbook, so let's get into it. The first play we have is the Give 3 Curl. You can run this for Kyrie, Gordon Haywood, or Jalen Brown, and it's designed for you to get a 3 on the wing. So right here, we call the play for Jalen Brown, but Gordon Haywood is going to be the one to get the shot. So Kyrie is going to start with the ball on the wing, then he's going to pass it over to Jason Tatum. Jalen Brown, who's in the corner, is going to run baseline, and then he's going to get a screen on the left block from from Gordon Haywood and then come up to the wing. Then he's going to run around Jason Tatum, set a screen for Kyrie, and then Kyrie is going to cut to the basket. Then Gordon Haywood is going to get a screen from both Horford and Brown and come up to the wing for a three. So this play has a lot of action and a lot of movement, and you have three opportunities to score. So whoever you call it for, in this case, it was Jalen Brown. When he comes off that first screen, he may be open, so you could take that shot if it's there. Uh, the next option would be when he sets the screen for Kyrie and Kyrie dives the basket you may have opportunities to get a layup and also the third option which is probably the best and the most consistent is when Haywood comes off the two screens so all in all this is a pretty good play that has some really decent options so the next play is the cut loop 42 dive you can run this for Jalen Brown Gordon Haywood or Jason Tatum and it has three options so we're gonna go through those options individually so the first option will end up being a three on the wing so right here we're running it for Jason Tatum and Kyrie is gonna start with the ball at the top Jason Tatum is going to be on the wing and then he's going to run in a straight line to the opposite wing and get a screen from both Al Horford and Gordon Haywood and if you notice the defender gets stuck on the screens you can pass it and you'll be open for a three but if he's not open you just flow right into option two so after Tatum runs through the two screens he's going to run under the basket and then Kyrie is going to dribble over to the wing and take his place then he's going to get an elevated screen and come up to the top of the key sometimes he'll go through the screens like he's supposed to like elevator but there are times where he would just go around them either way you'll get a lot of open shots and the third option of this play will end up being a dunk or layup so after tatum runs past the first screener which in this case is gordon haywood you're gonna pass hayward the ball and then as tatum loops around you can throw him a lob or just pass a regular but i found that throwing the lobs is a little more fluent and it's less likely the defense will steal the ball another thing you can do is once tatum starts running instead of passing it to hayward you can pass it to al Horford, and as he loops around Horford, you could pass the ball and get a layup or dunk but i found that if you give Horford the ball and when tatum lines up with him you can hold y to cut him to the basket and he would take like a tighter angle to the rim so it'll be harder for the defender that's chasing him to contest the shot and you can get a layup or a dunk that way as well so this play is pretty much the same as the punch loop 25 which is also in this playbook and i've used that play a lot it's one of my go-to plays it gives me a lot of open shots a lot of easy layups and dunks and it's one of the best plays in the game this play will work against computer regular people just it's it's just good and almost Almost every situation and I really like it a lot so the next play is called the quick 43 give loop you can run this for Kyrie Jalen Brown or Gordon Haywood and it'll result in a corner three or a lob so right here we're calling it for Gordon Haywood and Kyrie's gonna start with the ball on the wing and Gordon Haywood's gonna start in the corner Haywood's gonna run around Kyrie and once he gets to the top of the key he'll get a flare screen from Al Horford and then run to the corner to get open for a three and with this play I think the AI knows when that corner three is not gonna be open so instead of running to the corner he'll cut to the rim and with the spacing that you have you can throw him a lob and get an easy dunk so so this play is really good because corner threes and dunks are the two shots that you want to get the most of and this play gives you an option to get one or the other also the ai will automatically adjust depending on what the defender does so you don't really have to do anything extra so the next play we have is the punch 34 box rip you're gonna call this for jason tatum and it's designed to be a post-up play but depending on when you pass the ball you can get an open mid-range which is what we want so Kyrie's gonna start with the ball on the wing then he's gonna get a screen from Tatum and then he's gonna pass the ball over to Haywood then Tatum is gonna get a screen from both Al Horford and Jalen Brown and come up to like the low post mid-range area and he'll be open for a shot so as soon as he comes off that second screen you want to pass him the ball because 
because if you wait, he'll just back up and go into post up position. But if you pass it to him, as soon as he comes off the screen, I guess his momentum will bring him out further to like the mid range area and you can take that shot. Also, I'm not 100% sure if this works, but I think if you hold the button, it'll do a lead pass. So if you pass it to him and you hold it, it'll lead, it might lead him out towards the mid range area more. I don't know if that's 100 percent true but it might work or it might not I, I don't know i just thought i'd bring it up and finally we have the quick three alley you can call this for Kyrie, jalen brown or gordon haywood and it's designed to get you a wing three or a corner three depending on what the defense does so right here we're calling it for gordon haywood so Kyrie's gonna start with the ball at the top gordon haywood's gonna start on the wing he's gonna get a screen from jalen brown and go under the rim then he's gonna get a double screen from Horford and tatum and come up to the wing for a three also this is another one of those plays where the AI will change its route depending on what the defense does so if the defender gets through the double screen and tries to like jump the route he'll back up and go into the corner and he'll be open for a three also if he comes up to the wing and you don't pass on the ball you just hold it he'll run to the other wing and get a screen from Jalen Brown and that shot will be open sometimes too but most of the time the open shots will be coming off the double screens now even though i only talked about these five plays this playbook is actually loaded with plays and a lot of them i did already so i try not to have too many repeat plays if possible so i talked about these plays in the video because i haven't spoke about them before but this playbook has other plays that I spoke about already and I'll put them on the screen and the playbooks that I talked about them in if you want to go watch those. But yeah, this might be the best playbook in the game just based on the amount of plays that it has. And it's a playbook that I might start using more. Also, last note, since a lot of these plays are three-point plays and if you want to run them for Jason Tatum, pause the game and go to the game plan menu and then scroll all the way over and assign plays. Then go to Jason Tatum and you can change priority one because it's pick and roll wing. You can change it to three point and then he'll have all the three point plays available to him just like Kyrie and Gordon Haywood and Jalen Brown would. Just know you can't do that in my team though. If you want to run three point plays for a player in my team, you have to go to 2K MT Central and search up the player and check and see if they have three point priority. So that's the end of the video. I hope these plays were helpful. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more content.